Beth has been collecting uh, since 1969, so that is uh, over five decades, and her her work uh, that she collects really exists in her residences, which are in LA and New York and West Palm Beach. Uh, we acquired the bunker in, I, I believe it was about five years ago, and uh, we opened in 2017. We redesigned, repurposed it to our needs, changed some things around, but we didn't want to make the bunker perfect, hence like leaving certain things more um, rough and raw. We did not want the perfect white cube. So Beth curates um, based on and collects based on her intuition. It's very visceral. She responds uh, to the image that she is seeing. It is completely a non-hierarchical and we curate that way here. Um, so you'll see, a, for, for instance, a George Kondo next to a, an outsider artist. For me, I'm very passionate about the inner workings of a gallery and a museum, and I think that it's, it's fun to hear about the process of how we curate, how we install. And to talk a little bit more about the curatorial process, we go through every work in the collection via our database. So when we have themes chosen that we choose with Beth, we then, um, we then look at all of the pieces that could potentially fit into this category. Beth has, um, she acquires in depth in certain ways too. So there's certain uh, accumulations of art. We have an incredible works on paper collection. We have an incredible, a uh, collection of LGBTQ artists, and we have an incredible collection of African-American art, which we're loaning out to different institutions, and it's just really interesting to see the collection go out into the world, and, and so it can, it can experience more, and more can experience it. She's really always at the forefront, um, and not, you know, she does not shy away from provocative work. She does not shy away from early work or an atypical example by an artist. Um, and she is not afraid to, to buy something very emerging. And I've seen her go from an Upper East Side gallery to a gallery in Bushwick.